Welcome to the new lesson. In previous lessons, you have learned about data warehouse key concepts and their architecture using Bill Inman and Ralph Kimball. From here on, our focus will shift to data warehouse appliances, their offerings and future data warehousing relating to big data. So let's look at what is data warehouse appliances. As picture shows, data warehouse appliance is an out of the box solution which is given by a few vendors that includes databases, servers, storage, and operating system. Data warehouse appliances can also be referred to DWA. It is a computer architecture for data warehousing, specifically targeted for data analytics, having huge number of data. There are few advantages of DWA. Because it is out of the box solution, it is quite simple to use. Since it is built for data analytics purpose, it is bound to give the performance improvement. As it is out of the box solution, you can easily integrate between servers, storage, operating systems, and DBMS. So what is the core of DWA concept? DWA works on massively parallel processing architecture, which means, which means users send a request and then process, split that task into smaller tasks, which will be then given to individual processes. They do their processes in parallel and then give you the result back. Other point to note is it works on the share nothing method. And this is just talking about the dividing the task into smaller pieces, which means communication will be made at the beginning and at the end. If you parallel your processes, obviously you will get performance boost. That is the big advantage of using MPP method, but it has its own disadvantage. Maintenance will be a key here because you can have some of the nodes failing on a frequent basis. I've picked up few examples where we'll see how MPP actually works. In this diagram here, we are showing two MPP vendors, which are Oracle Exadata and Teradata. And on the left hand side, these are transaction databases that are being used by OLTP solutions and sometimes even data warehouse solutions. So what's the difference? The biggest difference you will see is it is the one solution which is used as a shared memory and disk method. Whereas in Oracle Nexa data, it is being shared on the CPU side and as well as on the disk side. So it works on shared memory and disk solution. On the right hand side in Teradata, if you see there is no sharing here. It has their own connection between CPU and disk for all of four CPUs and four disk. Assemble the data together and at the end it just sends the output back to the user. So it can be called as Teradata share nothing approach. Let's go a bit deep. In this diagram here, it's been shown that Oracle rack on the right hand side and Teradata on the left hand side. As you can see, it is being shared between two different racks, which are two different CPUs. But over here, there is no sharing happening. When user gives a request, it just goes to individual CPUs, does its own processing and gives you the result at the end. Hence, this is more of a parallel processing rather than partial parallel processing, which is shown over here. Outside of Teradata and Exadata, these are the other MPP vendors that are available in the market. Few are very famous and being used by a lot of different organizations, namely HP Vertica, IBM Neteza, and few others as Hortonworks and Cloudera. For you to understand from our architectural difference perspective, we have picked up three MPP solutions, which are being given as a data warehouse appliances from vendors. And those are Exadata, Neteza, and Teradata. So let's see how they are different to each other. These all three are the proprietary solutions. Hence it is being given as option under commodity slash proprietary. MPP is the solution which is being used by all three guys and some of them are using as truly MPP and some of them are partial. So Teradata is a true MPP solutions because it shares nothing. Neteza can only be used for data warehousing perspective. Teradata and Exadata claims they can be used for OLTP and EDW solutions both. Let's move on and see some scaling solutions. Scaling wise, you can have in two categories. One is you can do horizontal scaling or you can do vertical scaling. Horizontal scaling are also been referred as a linear scaling, which means you can add up more rack if required. 
So that's what is been shown under storage and memory. These are the vertical scaling and that's why it is shown as memory expansion. And NetEza is very much expandable. You can do the vertical scaling if required. So as for Exadata. Same applies for storage on the vertical side you can do scaling. But remember vertical scaling has its own limitation. You cannot scale after a certain point in time. So that's about MPP solution within data warehouse appliances.